In this quick tip video, we're going to have a look at the Degrees of Freedom Analysis. Now this tool might appear hidden at first. It lives under our Productivity tab, under Assemble, and it's generally hidden down the drop-down right at the bottom. And if we click on it, we're presented with a dialog box. Now this dialog box shows all the components in our assembly and shows any degrees of freedom. So if we click on them, you'll see that they highlight on the model. But let's zoom in quickly and understand this in a bit more detail. So see if we click on this component here, which is the shaft, you see a little glyph come up over there. And if we click on the animate freedom and choose one of these other pins over here, you'll see that as we do that, that the pin actually animates itself. So we'll see them just starting to move as we click on them. So those are rotational. We shoot over to the caliper over here, run the same degree of freedom analysis. You'll see that there's only one and it's translational. And again, we'll click animate, choose the component, and it shows us how it moves. The last example would be something where all of the components are fixed. And if we clicked on the degrees of freedom analysis, you'd see that there were no degrees of freedom. The components would all be fixed. So it's a nice way of figuring out how your model's behaving and what components need to be locked down if that's something you're looking for. I hope you find this useful. Thank you.